Actually, we're, I'm still reeling. You, we're <laughs> you're not going to have time to recenter ourselves because it's no. top 48, which means we keep getting Bracket great, stops great for no one. Yeah. yeah. Kanga going up against 6WX now. Yes. And this I'm looking forward to too. Kanga might not be because uh, DK can kind of struggle against Sonic. It, it can be a bit of a challenge. 6WX is going to need to manage his pressure very, very carefully. Yes. Uh, it, this is something that I think is going to have to pull out the patience mm -hmm. uh, from 6WX. Because if he continues to press forward and doesn't respect Kanga's close range options, he's going to lose stocks at really low percent. And that being said, though, he does know how to push his advantage state very, very nicely, finding himself 85% lead almost entirely. Doing a great job of keeping DK in the air. And we are seeing little hints of that patience, too, right? Little moments of, of, of waiting in the neutral and trying to catch Kanga, you know, dropping shield and advancing. He found, he found success in the very beginning, but Kanga is slowing down his pace just as well. Yep. Uh, where, uh, respecting, you know, these bursts of offense. Mm -hmm. And even though uh, 6 wx is probably going to have to play patient to make this work, Sakurai the angle? hitbox really going to do it, but an early up, he's still going to be able to make it to ground, but a back throw once again, sending him out to the distance. 6 looking for some moment of weakness. All right, going to intercept it. him and find the stock there with that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sonic back air, <laughs> honestly, it has a sweet spot and a sweeter spot. <laughs> like, any bar that you heal that move can kill, so... <laughs> very true. Good move. Good move. Very, very strong, at, uh, especially at edge guarding in this particular matchup, right? You just need to find the horizontal lineup, which isn't too hard given how little flexibility Donkey Kong has. Oh, oh my god, going to the fire blast We zone. saw this last time 6WX <laughs> was on stream. Oh my, it we never just, gets old. Oh, it's exciting every time it happens. Uh, Smashville, I suspect, will not be played. Uh, moving forward, because it is also a little <laughs> bit scary because, like, say Konga makes the perfect read, manages to get a grab on that platform in oh, that yeah. situation. I, the, the platform <laughs> is exploding. Twenty percent off yeah. the kill percent <laughs> for Ding Dong. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a liar. They're just gonna go back to Nashville. Konga, obviously, knowing what he. Uh, needed to do differently here. A, a ton of shield coming out from him, but uh, Six also slowing it down just as much. It's, it's interesting. It's almost like a game of chicken with uh, how slow they're going, right? Yeah. Every time Konga slows it down further, Six then slows it down a little bit more and keeping pace by pace. And Sonic's mobility proving so difficult for DK to pin down with a grab. Oh, yeah. I don't think Konga's been able to get a single grab. No, he absolutely hasn't been because uh, Sonic has that flexibility to be able to con uh, transition into air movement yeah. at almost any time, right? And if things like too sour, he can also go immediately into spring, which then frees him to land on essentially anywhere on the stage. All and right, okay, okay so that, that dare from 6WX was the overextension Konga needed. to start getting some percent on the board here, and now he's in a much better spot than he was. Oh, yes. But 6 going to be finding himself a pivot grab and an edge guard situation, potentially looking for a F smash through the ledge, and just like that, he's going to be able to cover the neutral getup right afterwards, not losing a beat in the pressure. Ooh, oh, okay. that pivot grab spacing, not going to be able to find the ding Too much though. rage for the percent. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that he yeah. pivot grabbed right through the Sonic up air, usually one of the safest poke options Sonic has. Very nice stuff. You and saw that jab! It's so slick. It's so slick. I love it whenever Konga does it. He has mastered the jab into uh, pivot turnaround up tilt. One of Konga's better kill options when they're way out of ding dong range. And he's going to need every last bit of one of them because he can't choose his openings against six. Right. And six is, of course, going to be finding that back air off stage once again. Take out that first stock. Kong, of course, going to be cautious about waiting on that platform. Six is uh, okay, he, still I, keeping I, up the pressure. Here's the patience we're starting to see from 6 I think He's keeping up the pressure, but he's not just blitzing. Mm -hmm. Right. Which Konga has shown from the start of this game that he's capable of sniffing out. Yeah, because what he, by, like, he can go into Konga's shield and find a way to disengage, like, relatively safely, right? It's up to Konga to sort of preempt the approach that Six is doing. So yeah. Six can afford to wait every now and then and then just bait out whatever Konga was doing because he was expecting an approach and then punish that instead. Oh, oh he's a not spring gonna find almost going to steal a stock, but Konga's able to air dodge through it. Still can't find his way off a ledge, but good up B intercepts 6WX's back air attempts. And once again, that air up B doing so much percent. 6WX so all he's, the way up to in, 60%. Uh, he's in death percent now if he gets grabbed. Oh, and just like you know 6 yeah, knew it, right? He knows, he, he knows. He's on the platform. platform. And this is something that Kanga is very used to, is people uh, platform camping. Oh, a nice footstool. Oh, the and spot dodge avoided. saves 6WX's life right there. 6WX is doing a lot of really strong landing options right now. He's not resorting to the same way to avoid being grabbed twice. Mm -hmm. Oh! He's mixing it up, and that 
that little pivot there from yeah. 6WX was clutch, able to get him the game he needed. Yeah, being able to just be at the from right the, distance to avoid the, the grab. clutches of death. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was death. Oh, it, it was if the he did not, hit. yeah. It was, yeah, it was absolutely scary, but still keeping his cool, being up now two games against Konga, but Solid still position. have to take a third one. You do, you do. It's not not an easy task. I, I have seen Konga do reverse three O's before, and they uh, are absolutely terrifying. Yeah. He is a, a download master of sorts. So we'll see if he can make the adjustments here and bring this back to a game four. Right now, once again, though, Six riding that early momentum, getting a solid 64%. All right, we're at 72. Once again, Konga not able to find grabs with how fast Sonic is moving around the stage. So one thing I've noticed is that uh, Konga has started to try to implement a rolling in in order to close this gap. But Six is, was already ready for it at the start of this game, right? He's been waiting at that distance, kind of just like letting Konga roll to him and finding neutral openings as a result of that. Yep. And that's gotten him already getting 130%, not going to find that next up air, but still a frame trap between both up airs going to keep him safe from retribution. Konga's got to find a way to close the distance. Oh, and he runs up to try and punish a shield on 6WX's part. Not uh, he's not going to clip by another forward smash. That aggressive bear was exactly what he needed to get back on stage. But he's still got a lot. Oh, oh my god. My god. Okay, going to be fine. Uh, okay, no. There's there's a famous clip in the Pacific Northwest of Captain L dying at 30. <laughs> in exactly that manner. Luckily, Sonic weighs a little bit more than Pikachu. Yes. Not going to meet the same fate. Still definitely enough to uh, get 6WX six, uh, six quaking in his boost a little bit, I think. Uh, and now with this amount of rage on Konga, we could very well see a grab. But rage is now reset. 6WX has a little bit of room to play around. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's, he's on the platform. He's dead. Nope, not, that's done. Yep. It takes just the right scoop at the right just time. Just the right one. Yeah, and Con I mean, the thing is, we started at the beginning of this, you, we, but you pointed out, Kongo wasn't able to find any grabs whatsoever, but now that's game three, he's able to get a so more solid read on how Six moves, how he retreats, how he finds safety, and is able to find these grabs yep. and keep some damage rolling in for himself. And he finds himself and at a lead at a is, scary this situation. This is the momentum he needs. Uh, oh, oh my god, my god. that's god. my touch. Saving Six's Kong's life. Kongo's punches. Uh, if there are two things Kong is known for, one of them is being an absolute master of Ding Dong, and the other one is having ridiculously clutch giant punches. Oh, but 6WX's reaction, or intuition rather, oh. was able to get him out. Not going to be able to get him out of this grab, though, and Konga is now on the board. Yeah, that is... I, <laughs> when you're playing a grappler, right, across any sort of fighting game, it's, it's such a heavy, uh, a read heavy archetype, yeah. right? So that's where they start to shine in these best of five sets because they need some time to figure out how you respond to their pressure. How does, exactly. it, how does this Sonic respond to me existing in front of him? Yes, he's faster than me, but whatever he does, I know I have ways to, to beat it. If I can get just the right yep. uh, read the on his step. The will stop yeah. at some point. At some point, yes. If he, I just pay attention to the points, yeah. I can put myself there and I can get the one opening I need. Yeah, and the, he's been, even with all of the movement options available, to 6 WX, he's still been able to find so much momentum when he gets that first opening in advantage state. He knows exactly how to carry those openings as far as he possibly can. Uh, very practiced at stroke conversions and everything DK gets off of them. But uh, right now we are seeing this start out like I think actually all of the games have started out with 6 WX getting like an 80% lead. But we're seeing Kanga getting his first opening sooner than he has previously. That's very right? true. He's it's slowly the download is happening, sure and steady, and he's and finding now these we're up airs and to up see these up airs sharking. That's yeah. something that Kong implements when he starts picking up on air dodge patterns from opponents. Gonna be able to find himself a spin dash. With this amount of rage now, I, I we're in uh, death process. Yep. I'm not exactly sure how big Sonic's window is, but I would not be. Oh, okay, oh, good call on the neutral get up with yeah. the F smash. Six WX. He's still at Ding Dong range though. I, I think. I I think so. Yeah. Oh, and he tries to grab him out of it, but the hitbox is going to snuff it out. Oh, very careful landing, but still going to be picked up at the very end with that back air. And Six immediately retreating. Retreat. The oh, oh, my God! <laughs> him out of the spin dash! But he's going to have too much percent on him for yeah. the Ding Dong to work together. Yep, and th now you see Konga trying other options, throwing out that F smash, using the active hitboxes on the dash attack to keep 6WX at the ledge. That should be a big punish. Yep, done smash. 
going to once again have himself another opportunity for some corner pressure. Six, retreating to the Smash Bros. platform, taking his time, letting the platform move him. And waiting for <laughs> the right opportunity. I was just about to start talking about how is Kong going to find his stock? Yeah, Kongo waits for that roll, reads it, gets the up air, and now finds himself riding once again a little bit of momentum, making it so hard for 6WX to find his way back to the ground. And just like that, I love the use of those up tilt, right? Because it the covers up so much horizontal range. Absolutely a game. Oh my god, that mash was incredible for 6 <laughs> Mashing that for his life. Yep. Oh, actually spot dodging there, I think, expecting a grab after that skid. All right, shield uh, in poke levels here. Kong has got to let that recharge for a little bit before he's able to shield these spin dashes. Oh. Oh, he is looking for it hard. And he, he's exerting so much pressure this now. This is where Kong thrives, yeah. yeah. Uh, when, when he gets in the opponent's head and knows the opponent knows mm -hmm. that they're at risk <gasps> of dying. Almost getting the spin dash with the giant punch. That one not connecting. Ton of respect by Six right now, just waiting in that corner, hoping yep. that Kanga presses that first button. He doesn't though, but he's able to go ahead and disengage from that situation. Not gonna find anything off of that spring though. Oh, oh, trying to call a roll from Six W X, and he he's gets gonna this find one. it, and the Ding Chong's gonna it. do it. Yep, that'll do it. We're at game five. Just like that. This is the adaptation. Yeah. <laughs> this is the adaptation we were talking about that we knew we were gonna see. I. I think we're two game five sets in a row. It's so ridiculous. And this is another top eight qualifier, correct? It's a top eight qualifier, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're seeing the cream of the crop of these two regions going at each other, and they're proving quite an equal match for one another. Uh, honestly, I mean, seeing a crew battle between these two regions, I think that would have been very exciting. I'd be extremely hyped. <laughs> uh, it's something that I know Gyromite wanted to do. Yeah. We just didn't have the time. Oh, right, yeah. right. Having such, such a great turnout for this event, too. Over 200 entrants. And this is the most we've ever flown out as far as uh, getting travelers over here. So shout outs to everyone who donated to the compendium and helped get these players out here to give us these great matches. And right now, choosing very carefully. We're going to see what all stage. of them set on Smashville? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. 6WX is thinking about it, thinking very, very carefully. I mean, he does have the right to take him anywhere, but going to be going right to Smashville. Same stage as always. Focusing I mean, he got two games on it. He got two games. And uh, he, can, he was so close to getting either of those other ones, right? Yeah. Uh, had a lot of momentum. Very tight. But once it got down to that to the wire last hit situation, Kongo was able to make just the right call outs. Uh, All right, Kongo going to retreat the platform and fake his way back down to the ground there. But 6WX is relentless with this pressure, knowing how bad DK's disadvantage state is and keeping him there with every trick in the book. But the thing is, Kong is finding it easier and easier to, to get these own reversals started. What's, uh, this is uh, a mirror image of every game here so far. But Kanga is finding the straight hitch, like you mentioned, and you only need a few of them. I mean, honestly, like there's only 40% left on 6WX's stock. Yeah. Oh, Kanga's oh, chases down that roll. Oh, and he roll. This is where he frees. And this is, I mean, this is scary. Already the next yep. grab could no, be it. This, I, it should be it with this rage. And so much patience by both of them. They're just putting up shield, trying to intimidate the other one to yep. go up for a run-up grab. Exactly. 6WX can call that roll and catches Kong is landing with a pivot grab. This is a great spot for 6WX to be in. DK hates the ledge and he hates getting flipped with F-Smash on his recovery. Smart stuff from 6WX. But, oh, oh my god, that chase down was disgusting! <laughs> that was disgusting! No hesitation by Kanga, knowing immediately oh. what corner of the stage 6 oh. is going to hide on. Oh my goodness. But six, I, I can't even. But the fact yeah, is, like, right Six now. is not dropping a single step, right? No matter no, how much he gets fished out, he's like, I got to keep this momentum rolling. I win this next neutral exchange. He's gotta land these keeping next his hits. cool remarkably well. Yeah. As, as tilting as some of these moments and these deaths that Kanga has gotten, are for most players. Uh, six WX. He is cool as cucumber. As just, some people have said. Yeah, standing there chilling. Yeah. Was just saying, hey, I oh, have the leader. Right this is a lot of damage. Forty-five percent from that grab combo. It's so potent. And we're just what? Uh, 20? Twenty. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. According to according to this uh, math last time. This is wild. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, okay, like this. it's here. It's here. This and, is it. And six just waiting on that platform. Konga, chilling underneath. Almost gets that grab, gets stuffed out by the spin dash, just and rolls away from that grab attempt. And again, so much patience. Everybody in the venue is on edge. The players, I'm sure, certainly are. The spring, not going to find it. Kanga not giving him the air dodge this 50 time. 50. Okay, I... I 6 w respecting Kanga on the platform. Clappy feet. Poking the shield there with the clappy feet. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Almost getting the, the punch! punch. Now here we go, Six waiting to try to catch that landing, doesn't read okay, the right Kanga face. Okay, Kanga might have given up on Zingdong at this point. 
Uh, given the amount of range he has, I don't think yeah. Ding Dong is an option, but, I mean, back throw at the ledge could be, and he waits patiently before starting his up B. Is the bear going to clip him? It will do, do it. it! It will do it! A fantastic set. Give it up for the players. Very tight Game 5 situation. 6WX taking it from the brink of a reverse 3-0 from Konga, making his way onto the top eight. Konga gonna be forced into the loser's